And looking great outside right now. No rain yet, but that is going to change. System over Texas developing as we speak, and that is moving east, and it is beelining it straight towards us. We will see showers and storms associated with this system tomorrow, especially tomorrow afternoon. Right now, it feels amazing outside. Very low humidity. Uh, in fact, the dew points in the 20s, so very dry, arid place and temperatures in the mid 70s. Right now, 72 in Midtown, 75 in Buckhead as we head towards Roswell, 72 degrees, 74 in Cartersville. Rest of the evening will be very pleasant, but you will notice increasing clouds, slight chance of a shower before midnight, but most of the rain will arrive well into tomorrow, specifically tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures tonight dropping down to the mid 50s. Normal low this time of year is about 47. So even with mid 50s, sounds good. That's still almost 10 degrees above average for this time of year. And a big reason for that is the cloud cover we'll see tonight. Tomorrow, that's when the storms move in. We'll see showers and thunderstorms and the potential of heavy rain, even severe weather south of I-20. So south of I-20, that's where we will be the most unstable. North of I-20, mostly a rain event, although some thunderstorms possible as well. As we head towards the lunch hour, that's when the rain Rain moves into northwestern Georgia, not until afternoon that we'll see that rain in metro Atlanta, and that rain will be heavy at times. As you watch here, future cast, you'll notice the reds and the oranges. Those are all south of I-20. Again, that's where the strongest storms are expected by 3 o'clock. Could see some strong storms over Troop County, moving in through uh, Spalding County, and then moving east towards Eatonton. By about 7 p.m., the rain will be over and done with. So most of this happening between noon and about 5, 6 p.m. PM, then things will improve pretty quickly. Clouds move out, showers move out, and we will be dry on Wednesday. For Tuesday, could see some strong storms. Here's a look at the outlook as far as severe weather goes, and it's a low chance of severe weather. Could see hail, could see strong damaging winds, and we could see some heavy rain, even tornadoes, but a low threat for all three, all four. Uh, systems for tomorrow as that line moves on through. Temperatures behind the system will be much cooler. We're going from mid 70s, even near 80 to highs only in the 60s, and it will be breezy tomorrow as well with wind gusts up to 20 miles an hour, only getting up to 60 degrees Tuesday, 64 on Wednesday, 68 on Thursday, which is where we should be this time of year, and then we'll be in the mid 70s as early as the weekend. That's also when our next chance of rain arrives on Sunday. As of now, looks like only a 20% chance of rain. That moves into Monday with a 40% chance of rain. So yes, we have heavy rain moving in tomorrow and some storms, but it will clean out the pollen, which is the good news. And the other good news is that we're going to have a string of beautiful weather behind the system. And if you wanted cooler temperatures, they will arrive tomorrow.